My name is Dave Asprey. I am the founder of the Bulletproof Executive and the creator of Bulletproof Coffee. Bulletproof is about anything that makes you perform better. And performing better doesn't mean running faster or swimming faster, or maybe it does. It might mean performing better at being a parent or an entrepreneur. The idea is that you should have enough energy to bring it all day, every day, and to reach your maximum potential. And Bulletproof will do anything, whether it's lifestyle, food, changes to your coffee, nutritional supplements, or even technology that makes you more of whatever it is you are. The Bulletproof Diet just hit number nine on the New York Times bestselling list the first week it came out, and I'm, I'm amazed. It's a book about how to eat, how to make better food choices using a roadmap. So you don't have to know all the science behind food, but you wanna eat so you never have a food craving again. And one of the things that comes out of this is that having carbohydrates for breakfast oftentimes sets you up to have uneven energy and food cravings and mood swings all day long. So if you're going to have carbs, you should eat them towards the end of the day instead of the beginning of the day. My superpower, this will sound a little bit weird, it's gratitude. And I've built a practice in my life of finding a reason to be grateful for everything, even things that don't seem like you should be grateful for them. And the simplest gratitude of all is, at least I won't do that again. <laughs> so I learned something. And by turning the way I see things into gratitude, it's allowed me to do things like have more of an open heart and to stop wasting energy. Because I found that, that I was wasting a ton of energy on things that weren't serving me. So now I've built a practice out of my life so that I don't waste energy that isn't helping other people or going back to supporting what I do as a father, as an entrepreneur, as a husband, and the things I do to make the world a better place. And just forgiving stuff and learning to be grateful for everything makes things happen in my world. So that's at the core of my superpower. I run an anti-aging nonprofit group, and I've learned from hundreds of top research professionals but there's a guy who's, I would call him one of the fathers of modern smart drugs, a guy who wrote one of the first books about it. His name is Steve Folks. And when I weighed 300 pounds and my brain was turning off as a young entrepreneur just getting started in Silicon Valley, I was frankly terrified because if your brain doesn't work, how can you be what you're going to be? And I read a book by Steve and it taught me how to use smart drugs to turn my brain back on, which gave me what I needed to fix my whole biology to upgrade my body. And if it hadn't been for his work, I don't think I would have understood half the things that I now understand. And Steve Folks is an advisor to the Silicon Valley Health Institute, and he's become a friend. But his knowledge and just his focus on cognitive enhancement gave me what I needed to become what I am today. So I, I owe a great debt of gratitude to Steve. My favorite daily ritual is bulletproof coffee and this is something that i do every single morning and i use my mold free beans and i mix an extract of coconut oil called brain octane and grass-fed butter in my coffee and i've done this since some variation of it since about 2004 and it turns my brain on and it turns off food cravings so all day long i just have the focus that i want and i'm just less distracted and i'm able to bring it so it's been liberating from the, just the perspective of having the energy to, to just bring it all day long, even if I didn't sleep that well or I didn't, I'm jet lagged, whatever. It doesn't matter. This helps to support my whole day. And if I can have a second ritual that matters, every night when I put my kids to bed, we do something called grateful. <laughs> and I go and I say, all right, Helen, all right, Anna. Tell me three things that you're grateful for today. And I'm building up the practice in, for them because after they tell me, I tell them. And that puts them in a good state, but it also reminds me of you know, what I do as, as a father and just as a human being. And sometimes the grateful is I'm grateful that we got to have dinner tonight. But other times I'm grateful that my book just hit the New York Times bestseller list. And when you're five, you might not know what that means, but they know something big happened. Uh, so just building that in when you wake up, when you go to bed really makes a difference. I don't want to be remembered as anything other than a good father to my kids, you know, a good, a good family member for my family and friends. Uh, I'm completely unconcerned with having a legacy. Uh, I would like the work that I do to help people to percolate and stand on its own. It, it doesn't have to have my name associated with it. Like, there's, there's no ego in what I'm doing. So legacy isn't important to me other than the direct people that I've, I've touched and helped. And if they remember what they learned, that's the big win.